Hello my Tods and Vixens! Ariana Vulpus here and welcome back to Skyrim. Now last week, pretty pretty disappointing episode. I wholeheartedly apologize for that. Especially after the action-packed battle scene that was the week before. But last week we made our way from Skyhaven Temple to about Falkreath before we before I had my tails handed to me by a bunch of Thalmor cronies. Or Thalmor thugs, I should say. And then we ended up... Well, Lydia and I ended up making our way from... Don't care. Leave me alone. Skyhaven Temple to Markarth to Stables. Now come along quietly. And we took a carriage to Riften. We went in and spoke to Romlin to... Get a barrel of mead to take to Iverstead. You know, so many birds with one stone. Or so is the theory. So we now make our way back to Iverstead. So we're making our way from Riften to Iverstead and then up to High Rothgar in the hopes that Arngir will actually know a shout that could possibly debilitate dragons or Alduin specifically. I don't think he's going to have that knowledge or want to share it willingly on account of as Delphine said the Greybeards are pacifists they don't take kindly to poking their nose in other people's business Actually, they're not pacifists, they're ostriches. They're just happy to stick their heads in the sand and ignore everything else around them. Okay. Iverstead to the left. Thing back to the right is White Run, apparently. Citizen, I'm warning. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. If you Citizen. know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Be gone. Go Stormcloak wants to see them. I'm not doing that. I have no intention. You know what? I've reached the decision. I'm sticking with the Empire. Simple reason a unified Empire has a greater chance of destroying the Thalmor. The, Dom the Aldmeri Dominion could be crushed if. Empire did all reunify. And then the fight went to Somerset Isles as opposed to Cyrodiil. Be 
Everything's all right. Time to drop off the keg. That's actually pretty decent timing, too. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Pardon me, my lady. Would you care to hear me play my lute? If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. All right, pipe down. You want the whole blessed place to hear you? The arrangement called for a trade. I hope you'll find this suitable. Thank you very much. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. Yeah, no kidding. If you fancy a bit of music, let me know. Ah, such a fine day. Smell the air. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, it is. You can almost... I can almost smell the pine from here. Pine? That looks like a spruce or a birch to me. Anyway, I can smell the trees. Almost smell the trees. Right. Let's press on a bit. Climbing the throat of the world is no easy feat. Easy goats. This is Skyrim, not Goat Simulator. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Will do. Thank you very much for the advice. Now we're into the Alpine regions. More goats. Be getting close to halfway by now.
getting close. Close enough that I can see the High Hrothgar. Uh, icon in the HUD. Just this takes forever. There we go. The giant rant last week about huge lengths of travel during the... <sighs> Sorry, pardon me. The lengthy rant in relation to all the traveling involved in the storyline. I don't know. I feel like part of it most of it was justifiable. This feels like you spend a lot of time chasing your own tail. Sky, guard you. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. The world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Dragonborn, wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend. But its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. 
He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Oh. Keep doing that! Damn it! It's for plumber. I gotta give it to you, man. You lost a lot of your... You've lost a lot of the anger that you had in The Sound of Music. Go. show you how to open the way. Lock. Ah. Cool. Sky, spring, summer. I will grant you my understanding of the clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Thank you very much, Master Arngear. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. I shall do my best. Shout to have. So you get right on the border, and there's nothing in the. Yo! Getting it wrong here, Ariana. Alright. 
through the skies again. There's another ice wraith just up ahead. Lydia! Little help! I don't think I have any health potes, so it's... Level up is the option. We need to keep moving. No! Got a lot of ground to cover and not a lot of time to do it in. No! go just a little further in on the peak. There's a last bit of what I do believe to be no! Made it. It's a dragon. Dremulok, greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinbach with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Okay, then. Evenar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Drechni Nakib, discipline against the lesser, aids in Kachnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. 
dream. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thumb. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dova King. I just learned it anyway. Ah, oh, yes. Sosedo Vrostmul. That dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Dragon rent. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Mm, yes, they are very protective of me, Bachlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Well, then that kind of leaves us screwed, doesn't it? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this doom? Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although... Not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin. Would you stop the next world from being born? I would postpone it. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. 
Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? Let's hear it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Not fully. Not fully, though, he's still around. Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Okay. Well, this video is going to be long anyway, and I apologize for the unnatural length, so here it goes. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. So you knew this? Hmm. How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jor do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelle, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. So far, Suyek. So how does any of this help me, Master Pathanax? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. That is certainly food for thought. Krosis. No, I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm. I'll... 
speak to Arngir he might? Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Indeed, Master. Thank you very much. Sum Ark Drem Yolok. Greetings. Speak. I will listen. And this is... Look through. Well, thank you for being part of the last 36 and a half minutes. If you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed making it, please, I implore of you, put your paws all over that like button. Feel free to leave a comment. I'm always appreciative of constructive feedback. And if you want to be kept up to date with my videos as they come out and you haven't done so already, please do me a huge favor and put a part of that subscribe button as well. But in the meantime, I am Ariana Valpes. Thanks again for watching, keep your ears forward, your tails up, and happy hunting.